So in this tutorial I'm going to be making some a flag, which is ideal, you could use it as a banner if you really want it. Um, it will be 3D printable. Yeah, it's uh, perfect for objective markers. So first thing, uh, add a cylinder. This is the pole, make it the right size. And then you do the crossbar. Simple as that, very quick. Once they're on, you need to uh, go to the physics tab and add a collision. Do this with both of them. And that's it. That's your poles, flagpole, and uh, crossbar all done. For the flag itself, we use a plane, make it the size you want it. And then we will be putting it into position, just sort of tweaking the size to get something more banner-like, more suitable for what we want. Once you've uh, fiddled with the sizes enough, we will be putting it back in position, exactly where we need it. Holding control moves objects uh, incrementally. There we go, just slightly in front of the, uh, the pole and bar. And after that, we tab into edit mode. And we'll be dividing it into squares. Roughly even squares. This makes life easier further down the line. And once you've got that, we will subdivide it again. Lots of little squares. This will just help with the cloth sim. So press 2 to get the edge select, and then uh, we just want to select the edges that we want the little flaps that go over the top to be. Um, that's what I'll be selecting here. As you can see I'm counting them out, just getting it nice and even. Try and get something that I think looks pretty decent. Once we've got that sorted, I'm going to extrude these up and over. And 
And once this is all sorted, I will um, divide it into uh, squares again. Just the same size as the rest of them. Keep it nice and even. Once you've gone round over the top, you need to assign the vertices at the very end to a vertex group and name this group as a pin. This will be used in the cloth sim shortly. And now we've got everything positioned, all set up, we're ready to start the cloth sim. So, go into the physics tab. Under the shape tab in the physics section, you need to uh, make sure to assign the pin group. And then we just start playing with it. Just see what the settings do. The main thing to note with regarding to getting it 3D printable is set the cloth sims collisions and self collisions to um, a value and you want this to just be ever so slightly less than the thickness that you want it to print at. This is because once it's all done, we will add a solidifier modifier and it'll just, just slightly clip into itself briefly. So here I'm playing with get some more dynamics into the uh, shape of it. I'm using some force fields, wind, that sort of thing. Just see how they affect it. Most of it's fairly standard cloth sim and you can get it from any tutorial. And that's more or less it. So once you've got it looking how you want it, 
just with a sort of slight gap, self collisions, collisions slightly uh, offsetting it from the pole and itself. Um, we will add a solidify modifier and then apply everything for doing some uh, finishing tweaks. I'll we'll subdivide it again if you want it looking a bit smoother. So here we've chosen the frame where the flag looks how we want it and we just uh, apply all the modifiers and then it's on to just some final tweaks just fixing the pole to look how I want it and then I'm just going to uh, fix the flag there's a few little bits that need uh, adjusting Select these bits where it's slightly offset, not quite where I want it. Get the very ends, and we will move it with proportional editing switched on. Um, and in the options, we make sure to check the connected only box. Final thing to do is just to add a base and then I personally like to join everything together using either remesh or boolean, whichever takes your fancy. It would be pretty poor topology for game use but it would be absolutely fine for printing.
And there you go. I hope this is at least somewhat useful to someone. Um, yeah. And uh, thank you for watching.